Hi everybody, this is Jordan Davis again. Thank you for clicking on this video and welcome back to my channel. If you don't know who I am, I'm a graduate student at the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. But outside of my graduate studies, I'm really big into the Eurovision Song Contest. And so this year I decided I wanted to do some reactions, especially given that Eurovision is unfortunately canceled um, for this year, although they're doing that kind of alternative broadcast. Um, I wanted to do some reactions in order to express my own thoughts and opinions and to engage in dialogue with Eurovision fans and my Eurovision friends from around the world. So this evening we're continuing with our 2006 Top 10 Week of my Eurovision reaction series. Um, if you don't know what that is or what my plans are for that, I'll link to that up above. So um, a couple of nights ago, I reacted to number 10, which was Every Song is a Cry for Love, the Irish entry, I believe it is. Yes, Irish entry for Eurovision 2006. And I'll link that above. And then <clears throat> I also reacted to one of my favorite entries from 2006, um, on a VC with everything, which I'll also link to above. So tonight we're reacting to song number eight. So in eighth place is Without Your Love by Andre, representing Armenia. Now, I have heard this song um, because I do have the CD for Eurovision 2006, but I don't think I've ever watched the live performance. And so I'm excited to see what this is about. From what I can remember of the song, I don't know how recently I've listened to it, but I don't think, I don't remember it being ethnic. I remember it being like more poppy. So we'll see if that's, if that rings true for the performance. Um, but let's go ahead and get into this because I love watching some of these older Eurovision performances because it's just, it's so different from today's Eurovision. And at the same time, in many ways the same. So let's go ahead and get into this. <clears throat> okay, clearly I lied because I said, <laughs> I said it wasn't ethnic and then the first sound is an ethnic sound. <laughs> Is that a box? It looks like Swiss cheese. I do like those ethnic sounds. Does somebody know what that instrument is? Hmm. So it is poppy, so I wasn't totally wrong. I like the dancers. It looked like there was a lot of people on stage. I was like, is that only six? Oh, it's a table. You know what I've never been a fan of? It's the soul patch. I don't know, something about it just does not sit well with me. <laughs> oh, I like those like, ribbons that the dancers are using bring something a little bit different to it his voice okay see that was a good run that was a good run that was a good ethnic run see but like his voice sounds a little like muted in a weird way like it's not projecting as much as it could but clearly it projected enough to get a place. So go you, Armenia. And he, he's performing. And he does those ethnic runs well. I think that's my favorite part of the voice, the vocal performance is when he does those ethnic runs. This is complex. Cause how would, I would get tied up. You make one wrong move and you are gonna be stuck. I always feel, oh, I always feel bad for the backup singer that has to stand alone, like, in the background, but still, like, be seen. But maybe they like it back there. I'm just like, oh, they look lonely.
Okay, Andre. Oh, they let this video go on for a hot second. <laughs> you know, you you know, these days they be cutting them right off. They cut the video right off. Um, but no, they they let that go on. It's still going on, in fact. Okay, there, <laughs> there we go. I was like, Jesus Christ, how long is this gonna go? So anyway, that was good. I, I, I do like that song. When that song comes on to my um, iPhone and I listen to it, I enjoy the song. Um, the live performance, I like the dancers and I like the ribbons that they use because you know it bring it heightens the level of the dancing because it adds this other element. It's not dangerous. I mean, it's just like you know ribbons or whatever, but. It's complex, because if you mess it up, it's gonna mess up really badly, and everyone's gonna tell that you messed it up. So it takes a whole different degree of talent for that. Um, as far as his voice goes, I liked his voice. I think I liked his voice the most when he was doing those ethnic runs um, in the different passages of the song. It did sound a little like muted to me at times, like kind of like this, like a little, just a little bit muted, but like it was good. It just sounded a little bit muted. So I enjoyed that. I like listening to that. I forget sometimes that this was before the LEDs got like real complicated. And so like the pattern just like continues in a loop, the same pattern. And, but I mean, I think it was effective because it filled out the stage, like the stage for having four dancers and him, it seemed full. Cause I mean, there was a point in time when I was not able to tell how many dancers there were on stage. Or rather, you know, I knew, I know six is the maximum, but you know, it was, it filled out the stage is what I'm trying to say, is what I'm trying to say. So anyway, I appreciated that. I appreciated that. So if you like this video, you like my reaction, please go ahead and like this video. Comment below your thoughts on this song, your thoughts on the placement of this song in eighth place at Eurovision 2006. Do you think it should have been higher? Do you think it should have been lower? Whatever. And then if you like my reactions and you want to continue to see more as I continue through this um, year, next week I'm doing the bottom 10 for 2006. That should be interesting. And then um, I'll go to 2007 and so on and so forth. So anyway, subscribe if you want to see that. But thank you for clicking on this video. And as always, I will see you next time.